Okay, this will be the 15th in the series of videos concerning the techniques for developing a workload tracker for physicians. The last video, for those of you who have been following along, was mainly a review of the incorporation of temporary variables and the set property command. In this video, I want to um, <clears throat> revisit um, something that we did earlier, the CPT code search. And um, I just want to mention that uh, clicking this button launches a little window. But in actuality, this little window is every much a form as FRM main. So if you, um, it happens to be displayed in what's called a pop-up, but it has all the same ability to look at the uh, layout design view. And if we go to the layout view, <coughs> it looks a little bit more like a form. And I'll bring up the property sheet. Um, and I might just add another button, since we have the ability to do that. Drop that in. Drop that in right about there. Um, and I'll name this button um, post okay whatever post to list okay because um, it occurs to me that you may search for a PT a CPT code and discover what its um, description and RVU value is and immediately want to post it to TBL list without going through all the trouble to make a button for it. So there has to be some flexibility with any new tracking system and this will be the, the way to build in some flexibility. Well, let's go look at the on-click event for, the, um, for this button. Bring up the uh, macro and um, it actually starts with an if statement. Um, if not txt cpt blank, then it'll show this message box. And it'll use the DLOOKUP, what we've gotten used to, um, to display the description and the work RV, RBU associated with the CPT that's been placed into this text box. If there's no, if the text box is blank, the message box will state you need to place a valid CPT code. And let me just prove that that is the case. We'll save and go to form view. And if I hit go here, the um, message box displays you need to place a valid CPT code. If you put a valid CPT code in there and hit go, it brings up the description followed by the work RVU and its value. Well, maybe you would like to put the code in here and instead, and you have realized that it's the code that you want to go into your, into your TBL list, which would then be displayed in your, on your main form here. We can go to the layout view and um, Actually, we can borrow some of the collapse, collapse all, and do that same trick, control A, control C, and close it. We don't need to save the changes. Go to here, click on our ellipsis, do the macro builder, control V, and we can start assigning some temporary variables. Set temporary variable, and you're going to be familiar with these VAR, CPT, and we'll call that one um, we can copy this and place that in as our expression. So the first temporary variable we'll, we'll set will be the number that was written into this text box. That's easy enough. We'll set another temporary variable. 
and we'll call it description and it will be the <clears throat> um, and then let's open that up and it will be the D lookup up to this point control copy uh, control paste okay so the CPT code the criteria will be the CPT that is written into that text box and we'll set another temporary variable temp variable VAR RVU and it will be this portion of the D lookup paste Good. now you don't even need this message box okay now we're going to um, open a form open in which form we're we going to open we will open the FRM list add and we'll open this in the add mode and um, having done that we will let's see we'll uh, close the window form for CPT search we don't need to prompt it but we can't save it we will then um, close the window form FRM main, save it, and we will open form FRM main. And we better remove all temporary variables. Okay, well, I'm asking a lot, but let's see if this is going to work. Save and close. And let's click here. And um, if all goes well, let's do our standard 10021. We can click it here, and that's FNA <coughs> without imaging. Our view value is 1.27. Okay. Well, for example, if we type that number into this text box, which we know is, well, I can't remember the name of it, but um, well, let's look and see what it is. This is called TXT CPT. Okay, that's right. TXT CPT. Um, so if we put one zero one zero 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 two one in here and click here, that should add a line item into TBL list, which then will be displayed on our FRM main. Okay, and there it did. It did work. Okay, so, and it closed this form. So let's do it again. Uh, 99212 post. There it is. So, for example, say you went to look up, um, let's pick it, let's do I again. Let's say you wanted to 65, and you can even copy that, 65101 paste that in there and post it. So you've just posted 65101 with 8.3 RPUs on this date and there's your dollar amount. Okay, ear, how about uh, nasal? Let's see what comes up. Removal of foreign body, oh there's a good one. Copy, exit, paste, post. Removal of nasal foreign body. All right, so um, that's uh, about all I wanted to go over <clears throat> into uh, in this video. The um, next video we'll probably do some uh, 
stylistic changes to the tab form and um, make it look a little better. We'll do some um, some other buttons, a few buttons, and put in some more text fields. And eventually, we're going to get to records, and um, or sorry, into reports. And uh, reports are where things become interesting again. Well, thanks for your attention, and I hope to see you in the next video.